Last week, Minnesotans learned that we're going to have an $876 million surplus. If you're a state public policymaker, that sounds like it's a pretty good deal. And it is, but it's really not that great of a deal. It, it gives us some breathing room, but it doesn't stop the flood. Here's some perspective. In order to balance Minnesota's last two state budgets using a no new taxes, cuts only approach, we ran about $4 billion in credit card style debt. That includes $2.9 billion in debt to Minnesota schools that essentially has been given to them as an IOU. Why not pay back the schools? Problem? We can't. Here's why. In order to make last session's budget deal work and the one before that, we had to borrow money from places that we really shouldn't be borrowing from. We borrowed against Minnesota's budget reserve, drained it completely down, as well as Minnesota's cash flow account. So the first thing we have to do is we have to move $621 million into the state budget reserve, and then we're gonna move a smaller amount, $255 million, into the state cash flow account. And once we do that, we have nothing left to pay back the schools. While conservatives are congratulating themselves on their fiscal restraint and the correctness of their policies, remember, these are the policies that have left Minnesota with a multi-billion dollar credit card bill, most of which is being held by the schools. This is no way to run a state. Minnesota needs public policy that's gonna move Minnesota forward.